to Monday morning. One of my favorite stories in scripture is when Jesus sends Peter to go get a fish and get their money for the temple taxes. It's in Matthew 17. What I love about it is he sends Peter to get a fish with money in its mouth. And Peter's a fisherman who spent his life gaining his resources and selling fish. And now Jesus has shown up in his story and he's showing him that he does it a different way that come and follow me looks a little different than Peter had thought. Commentaries break that story down and uh, myriad of different ways, but I just can't read it without thinking about Jesus's detailed love for Peter. Because it's so specific to what Jesus uses to provide for Peter's need. You know, I know that we are in a season of a lot of unknown. We look at what's happening in Israel. We look at what's happening in our own nation with the anti-Semitism. We look at what's happening with the economy and inflation and we have the real practicalities of paying for our groceries and we have the practicalities of wanting to know our children are safe and we have a very detailed father who doesn't miss a thing And what I love about this passage of scripture is the comfort that it gives to my heart, gives to my heart that it doesn't matter what the need of my life is. God knows how to get to me what I need. And he can even use a fish think about that so often when I'm out here and I know this may sound crazy but there have been times I thought Lord if we had trouble paying the bills could I come out here and grab a fish and get a coin out of its mouth if I needed to pay the electric bill or the grocery bill you know COVID exposed a lot I think what it exposed primarily in the church was where does our faith reside? And I think we're kind of seeing another undoing of sorts. And so I guess the question is, what if there was an undoing greater than COVID? What if we encountered something harder more challenging, more scary, scarier? What if we faced something that needed the supernatural workings of a living God? Do we trust him enough that he is big enough to get to us what we need for wherever we may walk or be? I think that's why I love that passage. Peter had forsaken all income to follow Jesus. Natural fish were no longer his source of revenue. Jesus knew that. So he said, Peter, why don't you go down there to the seashore, get a fish and there's going to be a coin in its mouth that's going to provide enough for you and for me. Meaning, Peter, if I call you to follow me, I'm more than capable of taking care of you. 
So I just felt like somebody needed to remember that today. When we forsake all to follow him, we can trust. He has us. He's big enough. And he can get to us what we need when we need it. And he can do it by miraculous means. So, in the next crisis, in the next moment of hard, are we willing to trust he is who he says he is? I pray we will, because he hasn't changed. That God that sent Peter to get that money out of the fish's mouth is the same Jesus we have today. And he knows how to get to us whatever we may need for whatever.